It's Angie from Canterbury Trails Farm. Today I'm going to show you how to construct a loom knitted pot of gold for St. Patrick's Day. This is not a how to loom knit video, this is a project video, so I'm assuming that you already know how to loom knit. I'm just showing you how to construct the project. If you need to know how to loom knit, except, you know, the actual skill of loom knitting, I do have videos on that and I will provide the links for you. First of all, what we're going to need is the smallest in the standard, when you get the standard set of looms, it's the five and a half inch diameter, five, five and a half inch, depending on your brand diameter. Um, they do make smaller ones. And I also, you're going to need a smaller one, but I use the center of a flower loom is what I use. So if you have a very small loom, it measures almost two inches in the center. That's what I use for my smaller pieces. So those are the two looms you're going to need. You are going to need some sort of container. I'm making a very small pot of gold. So I have this, it's like a eight ounce sour cream container. If you want to do a bigger one, you'll need to match your loom to your container. So like you can see that my bowl just fits very nicely through my loom and that's what you'll need to do is match your loom to your container. So what are you going to do? First of all, you're going to need to make a little hat, like sort of like pretending like a little tiny super doll hat really. And for this little eight ounce container, my, let's give my measurements of my eight ounce container was two and a fourth inches tall by four inches in diameter was my little thing. Now you're, if you use a different size of container, your measurements are going to be different. So I'm not going to give, like, I'll give you my measurements, but if you change up the size or, did, or do a bigger one or a margarine one or whatever, you're going to have to sort of, you know, eye it, eyeball it. First hat I made is about four and a half inches long. So I knitted and I made a cuff. So I knitted a, a four and a half inch long hat with a cuff is what I've done. Then for the second piece, this one's just a four inch with a cuff little hat. And we're going to turn that one inside out because this is going to be the inside of our pot of gold. Then I did using the middle part of my, I already have another project started, sorry. I knitted a 10 inch long tube and this is going to be the handle to our pot. Obviously you will want to, if you're doing a bigger one, you sort of just eyeball that until it looks like it's the appropriate type of handle for a cauldron or a black iron pot is what we're sort of going for. Then also using the center of the flower loom, I made six pieces of gold. And how I did this was I knitted about two, a two inch cuffless tube, just a little tube. And then I took it off the loom, just normal and drawed it up. And then I put my needle through them. And then I just went around and gathered the other end and also drawed it, drew it up and then did like a circle, just stitches through the center. So you ended up with all these little crocheted round pieces of gold. Let's get our little container and we are going to put it inside of the black pot and you can see a little bit of the white showing through or I can maybe you can't if you look real close you can see if that bothers you you could always wrap a piece of black fabric around your container but it doesn't really bother me that much and then we're going to put we're going you want to turn the little gold hat inside out so you're looking at the right side inside and then you're going to put it down into your pot. And we want to take the pot handle. And then we're going to put it down between our two layers in the pot of gold. Now, at this point, you need to decide how much of it you want sticking out. I know some pots of gold have two handles on the side, like small handles. If you wanted to do that instead, you would obviously need to do smaller tubes. Or... You can sort of angle it so it's going to be not sticking out at the top. So I'm going to do mine sort of like this. So it's not like, I don't want it to look like an Easter basket. I want it to look more like a pot. I want to play with it a little. That's why you, uh, I did a little bit extra length so I could determine what I wanted, 
how I wanted to do it, how the how I wanted to sew it in there, what the look I wanted. We're using the same color as the gold on the inside, so it gives the appearance. So uh, we don't have to make as many gold pieces. I'm also going to take a little bit of fiber fill. I'm going to put it underneath the liner just so it gives it a little bit of oomph in there so we don't have to make as many gold pieces because they'll just be sitting in there and they'll pile up higher looking if you don't put the stuffing in it you, you might have to make more pieces of gold to make it look fuller so I think I'm happy with that after you get your handle arranged how you like it. I'm gonna need a needle. Pin mine through here. And I'm gonna use black yarn. I'm gonna start over here by the handle. Let's go I wish I would have brought my glasses, is what I wish. And I'm just going to do like a whip stitch. And I'm going to try to stay on the black yarn as much as possible. Go all the way around and sew the two layers together. And when we get to the pot handle, we'll, sew, also, we'll be sewing through um, the layer of the, hand, the pot handle as well as the gold and the black. Okay, when I get to this the pot handle, instead of doing a whip stitch, we're just going to go through all three layers, just like you would if you were sewing them. the end. I'm just going to do a couple of stitches to sort of secure it here. Fix it so my gold layer is as is, is interior as possible. So a little bit of a lot of fun. I really had fun making the little coins. <laughs> but I thought this would be cute for if you're a teacher or Sunday school teacher, it'd just be cute to sit on your desk. Thank you for joining us today, making our kind of gold for St. Patrick's Day. Bye.